What's going on? What's going on? Back with another one. Back with another one. This is Sunday Dailies. Sunday Dailies. Yeah, they took one of my content down last Friday, but that's okay. It's an old, you know, I mentioned it to APTV. Don't worry. You know, it's a clean sweep. You know, January. I call it clean sweep uh, January. Don't really care. Uh, the the 42nd edition of the Sunday Dailies. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, last week, we talked about the adjustments of common, uh, the content less streamed. Yeah, I talked about that last week because I'm not going to be streaming a lot this year because this year is going to be, it's a wrap and it's whack as hell right now because um, a lot of content is just spursing out. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to understand, content creation is dead. It ain't what it used to be. It's, um, you got to be careful what you say. But the old stuff, that was during the days probably during and coming out of the pandemic now they're trying to be stricter with certain content see live streaming has become the um the problem and the reason it's become the problem i'm saying is like if you want to go further back to google hangouts and prior to google hangouts i mean blog talk was standard back then right there was no live streams on youtube in 2015 i'll take this from 2012 i'm from the era of pre-recording where things was more smoother. See, the years that came and prior to that, that was pre-record era. Live streaming was around, but it was not really no such thing as live streaming. Live streaming didn't come blocks or radio. That was a radio station you called on the phone, right? The live streaming thing started during the 2012 era, but it also started in other forms. And I think it really, it really started around 2013 but you saw the most immersive it was streaming wasn't standard in 2012 and 2014 where i started on youtube it was not standard streaming wasn't there yet it wasn't around live stream wasn't around it didn't get popular until 2015 and then it took off but other platforms had it but but the first um live was instagram live had it first instagram had it first before anybody we talking about like a social ne uh, network setting it was a social network and when they call it social media that's where Instagram came in. It came in 2012, and then it introduced Instagram Live. When Instagram Live came, bam, that was it. But around 2015, that's when it was popular. YouTube wasn't with that just yet. They had live streams, but not like that. I mean, you had Google Hangouts later on. You know, you had Google Hangouts in the messaging board. You also had Google Hangouts in the live streaming form. Around 2018, uh, Google Hangouts was standard. I mean, yeah, you had YouTube live stream in between that somewhere around 2017. I do remember a live stream on YouTube. People go live on YouTube and stream, and it was so easy to do on the phone, blah, blah, blah. I never did that. I could have did that years ago. But something told me things change over time. When it changes over time, you know you have different things, right? So YouTube live streaming was something, was a thing at the time, but Google Hangouts had to beat, but then it died down in 2019 google hangouts people got tired of you know a lot of raunchiness and 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 and, and innery like i said i could have used the word derogatory like they call us niggery but you know but that's what it was i'm just being raw on that but apologize for that but that's what it was but you got to understand at that time that was it but see i didn't come back to youtube until 2021 when i did you know when the pandemic came when the pandemic crisis and i'm not gonna say i'm just gonna say c19 i'm just gonna say it like that that's as far as i'm going i'm not gonna get into the medical stuff i ain't gonna say that no more because i know how offensive people are and i'm not gonna get into the 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 stuff that i i don't care about that and please do not mention that in the chat room or the vlog streams no more i'm just gonna tell y'all you know the people that subscribe to me but please don't mention that in the chat because I don't want to get hit again of a takedown. And you know how they do. Because they say it won't affect you. I ain't got time for that. I'm going to avoid the medical stuff. Because that little organization, I ain't going to mention it. They fuck them. Because that was a takedown by them in a way. But they wasn't trying to knock me off. They just, oh, he's just a, you know what I mean? They they, they, they think I'm not a threat. But I am a threat to certain people in other areas but you know i don't say too much on youtube because it's over i already know everybody's expanding somewhere else if i find another platform yes i'll live stream somewhere else but i'm not gonna do that on instagram i'm not gonna do that on twitter because you already know it's over so basically what i'm saying is youtube is a platform you can do this but youtube is not the, always the way it's just one way right now but there's other ways you can live stream but in a way 
I just don't understand that people are still stuck in these so-called red pill spaces. So live streaming was a thing the way they do it now. But see, that pandemic period, you know, y'all know DJ Kuda had it on lock in these spaces and, and ousted O'Shea and told him they did their thing that whole year. It was them, them other niggas, and they did that. Everybody did it. I was a panelist for that whole year. That was four years ago. Four years ago, I was a panelist. That's how I really came back messing with other people's content. But that next year, when I did the pre-recorded content on the cell phone, on this particular um, old cell phone that I have, and it's it's my old one, but I use it for content outside of the um, for YouTube for vlog streams, right? That's like my personal camera. It's got a good camera and everything. It's an LG um, LG Six Stylo Plus plus six i believe i had the third one the third one was old i got that one but the, the latest one they had was the lg the lg um it's the lg style of plus excuse me it's the lg style of plus six and they and they don't make them no more lg got out of the phone uh phone business and became their own entity so after that it, it's just it just became a thing and i and i like the fact that it still has the screenshot feature i love it and the one i got the um the Motorola, the Moto G, the Motorola, the uh, Moto G Stylus 5G, the Moto G Stylus 5G, the one I got now, it, it has a screen, uh, screencast, screen recording, all that, but the screenshot, you got to get the app. I don't really like the apps of screenshots right now. I'm trying to figure it out. I, I, I'm okay with it. I, this phone is decent. It's a nice phone. It can You can back away stuff. It's got a back button. It's got all the stuff that you need in the cell phone. Yes, I got all the stuff that I need. It, it's it's pretty much it. But, you know, it ain't really much. I got all the entertainment apps. And I'm I'm, enjo I'm enjoying the fact that this is a decent phone. I can keep this for a while. And then I can use something. I don't know. I can make this other one my home phone. I don't know. If I, if I get enough money, I'll get a home phone and just keep these phones and not upgrade. You know, I try to. But we'll see. Because I'm going to keep it an extra year. I'm not going to upgrade probably if it's all, if I had it for two years, I'm not going to upgrade. I'll wait to, you know, when I finish out one or two, if it's three years, I'll see. But that's how it is. But but in reality, it's a good thing. But I'm just saying at the time, I was on the cell phone the whole time on panels with this particular phone. I got it in 2020. Now, I had another phone. It was called the um, the LG uh, stylos plus um plus three the stylo plus three was good that was the one i was coming on panels with and then i had the uh the google pixel the google pixel uh three i used it as a television thing and then i came on panels with that with the youtube and i did all i did everything around that year that that whole year and then when i got a new phone the stylo plus this right here in 2020 like or or, or somewhat of a, a so-called holiday christmas i understood what i was doing but I liked it. I had it for like, oh my God, I had it for like that that beginning of the year. But then 2021, when I start using content and and then learn how to screenshot later on, I like this ever since. And I had it for a minute, and I had it, I had it for a minute, right? I had it for a minute, and and I stayed with it. But I didn't upgrade it uh, next year. I didn't upgrade. I still had the phone. I had the phone around 2020, but then I had it like 21 another year, and then I expanded on in 2022 now 2022 i liked it i had it in 22 and still used it still to use it to stay and i liked it and it was a good way to talk communicate still do content outside i was doing everything you know but that that was like um two years ago now two years ago still had the same phone 2021 that was three years ago i exploded you, you see what i did and came back now fast forward to 2023 that was last year still had it upgraded to the moto i got this for my birthday and i felt like this phone right here smooth every day now i still like it to this day i like it now and now it's 2024 i'm gonna take care of this and i might uh take care of it in 2025 now 2026 i may upgrade i'll see i'm not gonna be in a rush you know what i'm saying I, I gotta see what the phones is i'm still keeping this for now it's a good phone i might keep this for a while i don't know it, it's got a good you know if I fix some of this and, you know, keep this and use this for something and still use it for content, but I always have different things, you know how it is. But in this microphone, I had this, um, 
Two, I, I I got this two years ago, by the way. I got this mic two years ago. I got this mic two years ago and um enjoy it was a present, by the way. It was a gift uh from a family member. And I told him I wanted this and I got it and I love it ever since I started using it on blog. I mean on uh pre-records and things like that. I like losing on pre-records. I never use it on a live stream, but I've used it on pre-records and just get it the feel of what what it's like to be on a live stream. So never had this on a live stream. I never will, but I've had this on pre-records, but this microphone, I like the clarity of my voice. I, I feel good and I feel happy using it. And it's, it's awesome, but I will use it on other platforms if I want to. And I'll start using it and start recording. But yeah, this particular microphone, I really like this mic. I, I really do. And I'm telling you, the interface I got is decent. I might look for one uh, sooner or later, but I'm not into it right now. I might look for it for the summer. I, I have to see. I have to see what they're talking about, you know, like a like an interface and gear and shit like that. I'm, I'm going to get into that just for content reasons. Uh, Black History Month. I'm going to talk a little bit about it and speak my mind about a little bit of um, what I think about slavery and things like that. I'm not going to get into the slavery stuff. You know, I can't have it because my boys uh, page got suspended and things like that. It's a lot of stuff that, and, you know, they try to say it's not now, but it's suspended, you know. And, and it's just for they just got tired of them you know it, it's a lot of good stuff on there but just forget about it it's suspended on the google play i think it's suspended on um windows too i believe i don't know about the windows phone and all that stuff i gotta see on that but it's suspended on this particular computer but if it's suspended on any computer at this point it's it's sad but you know but that shows you do just didn't take care of his bills and it is what it is, but the historical stuff and then the books, there's too many books out there. I could speak on the conscious community. I, I'll do it brief. I mean, you can watch the dark history streams for that. You know, I, I would love to. February is going to be very light, and I'm just going to talk about what to expect in the world and all that. You know, election year is the circus. We're going to call this the circus era. I'm going to call it the circus era in 2024 circus era 2024. You're going to see different ideologies. I'm going to get back on that. I'm going to have to get back on that. And I'm going to write something down and why I always say the ideologies in these uh, so-called politicians and yes, utilitarianism is a problem in society. That's what's wrong with the world. Now everybody wants to be utilitarians for some reason and it ruins everything. And that's the, the cost of what's going on. That's why you see all these policies and rules regulations ruin everything and then the internet's been neutered let's just say it like that it's been neutered it's bad so it's pretty much gone so in reality like you see certain people in certain spaces they're going this way and they're going that way it's over like like i said the essence of independent truth is you got to go to different platforms man youtube is not a place they're on tv they they on mainstream tv as a way slave and they're going to be who they are and i'm just going to say f them and i'm going somewhere else this is just something like I'm just going to pre-record the rest of the way in 2024. I'm not going to do a whole lot of live streams. The only one I'm going to do is uh, independent thinking series the whole spring, winter and spring. And I'll end it somewhere around early June. I'll end it. And that's it. After that, I'm just going to uh, kill the, the series is going to be done for good because I felt like that's a pandemic stream that I created as well. I want something different. If I want to live stream, I'm going to name it something. We're going to talk about not political stuff, but it's going to be a little political stuff, but it's going to be the stuff that I've said about systems and ideologies and things like that. But a lot of people just get caught up on the other things. They just get caught up on the voting and things like that. And I heard about Trump. Um, the Republicans is trying to stop him from winning. Um, me personally, I'm not a Trump guy. I'm saying they're stopping him from winning because what he did on January 6th is is foul. You know, a lot of people try to say he didn't do that. It's foul. Yes, he did. He 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 did some things. He he promote terrorism. And terrorism is not good. But terrorism is also what you see and what you get. And so right now, so again, you know, it's pretty much who y'all voting for. But you know, Biden and them, they going at it. I don't think neither one of them is gonna win. It's, it'll be a 30 party race. And I think the country's divided because the recent events, yes, the October 7th, I'm not gonna mention it. Yes, the war and all that. I'm not gonna get into that. That's irrelevant. I, I said a little piece of it last year. Y'all see it on other content. I'm not gonna do it this year because no need, because that's gonna be 
it's everywhere across the internet platforms. Everybody's divided because the internet's divided. The world's divided because of that war. And I'm not going to speak on the details. It's part of prophecy. Um, people got to be mindful of what's going on, but it, that, that that's where we at at, it, at this point. I'm not going to speak on it. I said a few pieces in this uh, clip right here. I'm just saying like, um, it's not looking good on the other side. I'm not going to mention no names. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Yes, I'm talking about the sins of Esau, but we're not going to get into them. They're irrelevant. They already know what it is. I know what it is. I'm on this side. They're on the other side. So it is what it is. But yeah, YouTube is it's in that direction. It's not something I want to do long term, and I'll never do it long term. So content is content, and uh, get it while you last. And this thing could be bought by some Elon Musk type. We'll see. We got to see what 2025 is going to bring next year. I ain't worried about next year. I'm worried about this year alone. I got to see what this year is going to bring. This site itself is in turmoil. Competitions arrived. You know, yes, TikTok is to me, I call it shit talk, but it's um not the best site. But a lot of people like it because basically the stuff that's on it, you know what I'm saying? But you got to be mindful of what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I'm just looking at the stuff right here. I ain't got nothing to, to promote. Okay. I ain't got nothing to promote. But in a, in, in a, in a hot, tenseful moment, um, the sports was looking good. And LeBron James, he said uh, the other uh, the other night, last week, he said, uh, we suck right now. <laughs> the Lakers, I've been seeing a lot of sports you know, LDBC is going at it and they saying uh, LeBron is doing horribly. But, you know, Lakers is old. They're depleted. They're not going nowhere. I told you, these just got swept by the Nuggets. And are they going into the playoffs? Hell no. They're not going to make it to the play in. It's over for the Lakers. They need to start over. <laughs> it's over for them. I, I try to tell y'all, the West is, is stacked to death. And Jaws back. He's mad and from that suspension with the gun uh, incident. And he's he's got to do more than just act like an n-word you know what i mean <laughs> but it, it just goes to show you where we at now so yeah y'all stuff can talk about relationships the uh so-called red pill space y'all bunch of blue pillar idiots by the way and and yeah and y'all arguing about purges and shit y'all y'all lame bro shots was a world class last week he was talking about uh no calories uh say no to fatty foods he he got exposed as a p-file I ain't gonna actually say the word. I used to say it on the um, last year. I'm not gonna say because that how sensitive they are. Y'all can say the the that do or p file. You know, y'all know what I meant by that. That ones that mess with children. But you know, I'm not gonna mention the children again. But that's him. Salute to world class for that. And I think um, he 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 got him. He got him where it hurts. But YouTube is not something that I want to do long term. Well, I said, you got to make money on YouTube. No, you don't. YouTube is dead, bro. YouTube is not what it used to be. They, they're not paying people like that. So don't even think about getting monetized. You get monetized, you're definitely screwed. You can't say what you want on YouTube. Um, it's a person that don't. It's not monetized. It's the same way, but here's the thing. You can say what you want. Just don't go extreme. They'll take your shit down, but they'll um, just don't go extreme. I try not to go extreme at all. I try to play subliminals and slice it in and just, you know, but this site is done. Like it, it's done. Unless it gets bought off by, like I said, like a, 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 what Elon did, another billionaire similar to him will buy this and probably buy Google because the government's going to have to sell it off to somebody, man. They don't want to get exposed to this shit. It is what it is. Whoever runs Google is not doing a good job or YouTube. They just um, take people's shit down for no reason, but that's what it is. They said, cease to assist. And we said, this is misinfo, but I ain't going to get into that my situation that's irrelevant um i feel like just be careful on here the ones that know if y'all see a video that you haven't seen and they said what happened that y'all asked me that don't mention it to me in the uh chat room i already told you um they taking shit down that has something sensitive in it and i don't know maybe they be capping half of the time half of the time they be lying so i ain't gonna get it back and i don't care for getting it back i'm not gonna dispute that that's what they felt like. So fuck them. I'm not using this long term. I'm just going to tell you, if I ever reach to that 4.0 and above, I'm not doing YouTube ever again. I pull this shit and don't give a fuck. I said what I said. 
But I hope y'all save these videos. I don't know if YouTube's going to last long or they're going to get bought off. I believe they will be bought off. And it's over. I, I was a part of it. I was a part of something. And it's just going to be what it is. I am i don't know. If I have to download some of these videos, I might have to. Uh, this year, I may see something. But I don't know. Because the election year is kind of weird right now. So I got to be careful while I'm on here. Because vlog series, I'm going to be very careful. I'm not going to say no informational shit. I'm just going to speak my mind. And just talk about current events, what's going on out here, and talk about uh, actual events, entertainment. I'll talk about that. I'll do that on the vlog stream. I will never do the informational shit no more on the vlog stream. I used to, but I stopped. That's that, you know, being myself. I'm feeling myself, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to skim right now because after that takedown from that, no, nah, never again. And I will try hard to keep it current related here in that case with ysl and it's just crazy but that's just goes to show you that it's not that much to say on youtube it's really it's it's really stale it's dry and nobody's not messing with it so content creation is dead on here i'm just gonna tell you that right now because i feel like other content creation is better than sites than this this is just a platform to get your feet wet somewhere else but this place ain't it ain't happening let's say anybody could be gone they ain't got nothing to do with it it's a shit site and nobody's going to use it. If people start boycotting this site, they'll do something about it and it'll go away. But they're not going to do that because there's a lot of assets here. I'm not saying to boycott. Don't do that. You know, if you want to, that's fine. I'm just saying I would do that because I don't care for it. But in a, in, in a weird way, I have to speak my mind on it. I'm just not going to sit by and just let them do that shit. And I've been that down the road 12 years ago. 12 years ago, that happened to me. I know what that feels like. And I'm not going to argue with them again. Fuck them. Because this is a site that I feel like it died a long time ago. Now it's commercialized. It's about TV and things like that. That's my criticism of it. If y'all like it, y'all can, you know what to do. But I'm not going to say the actual words. It's irrelevant. They irrelevant. I'm just speaking my mind about Sunday Daily. Just be mindful on the internet because the internet's divided over this other shit. So, you got to be mindful, man. Like I like I said last Friday, be realistic. Be what you got to be. And I say the reality matters more than ever. And it does matter more than ever because a lot of times people are pushing this type of content. And I see it all over on all platforms. So Elon Musk is doing something right. A lot of people try to say he ain't doing nothing right. Yes, he is because to me, he's exposing what's what. You pay for it and that's it. YouTube will never do that because YouTube is weak. Nobody's not going to support it like that because everybody's tired of the tos but we ain't gonna get into it. They're, they're trying to say, yes they're tos no that's google tos sir anything google uh related they all have a tos youtube did not take tos seriously until google got involved and, and they got you so that's all i gotta say but but yeah just be mindful you know what i'm saying is this is a um what we should say this uh the 42nd edition is all about reality and things like that um we're talking about current events what's going on and it's the circus era the circus era is real but it just goes to show you that the circus era is real we're going to talk about it that's what we're going to mention and the circus arrows is dead real. And I think that's just the whole point of people understanding that the election year is going to be a whole circus. That's all they're going to talk about. They're going to talk about the war. They're going to talk about all that. And they try to see who's going to be the man for the job. It's going to be very interesting in 24. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be what it is. I don't know how much I'm going to be here. But in the summer, don't expect much from me doing content as much. I'm not going to live stream for a while. I'll pre-record drop there and there. Now, Sunday dailies, I might cut that off during um, early summer. And I'll tell you why I'm going to stop doing that, because Sunday Dailies is one thing. I said this, too, and I said Sunday Dailies is going to end uh, early this summer. And this is after the pandemic. I like this concept and I just want to put this out there, just do it for Sunday. But Wednesday, I'll have a new thing, call it something else. And it's called the Daily Sun, but the Sunday Dailies is, is, is some of the things that I do. But I will get it to a certain number. And that's it. But I probably ended. I might end it in the um, mid spring, just for the hell of it, you know. Because I might not do 
this in the summer. No, I'll do this in the spring. I might end it in somewhere around before Memorial Day. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm just going to take a heads up and I'm going to do something different during, I think, somewhere around June on Wednesday. I'll drop some on Wednesday and then I'll let you know that it's going to be a new thing. It's going to be this. Yes, I'll be cammed up and you're going to start seeing, you know, doing what I do best. Some of the Sunday dailies, but you will see this mic. You'll see anything. But like I said, I have different concepts and different mindsets to get to. But I'm looking at things different. Pre-recording is my my thing now. I got to stick with it. Put a premiere behind it and then y'all can eat it from there. So like always, it's it's pre-recorded and, you know, premiere. Y'all can say something in the chat. Salute to y'all that came and whatever. But. So with that, shalom to the people of Israel, shalom, and to the Gentiles as well. Praise to the East as always. Until next time, I will see y'all on the next Sunday dailies. It'll be the 43rd edition, and yes, I'll be here. Until next time, and I'm out.